G'day everyone, Lee Martinuzzi from Martinuzzi Property Group. Hope you're having a fantastic week. So property prices in July across our five capital cities have risen again this month by 1.3%. Now that is down on the June averages, which was at 1.9%. So 1.9% growth in June, down to about 1.3% in July. Now that's across our capital cities. The growth up here on the Sunshine Coast is different again but we have seen a slowing market. Now, there's a couple of reasons of what's happening here and the continued lockdowns um, is forcing a lot of sellers, certainly in the Southern states, Sydney, Melbourne, to a lesser extent, to pull their properties from the market. So they're actually withdrawing their properties from auction or whether they're selling with a private treaty with a price, they're actually choosing not to sell their properties. And I think they'll be waiting until the markets open up again or lockdowns discontinue so buyers can actually go out there and start searching for properties. So that is noticeable with buyer demand across the country down. And these are figures reported by realestate.com, one of the largest uh, search engines for properties. They've actually seen a, uh, a fairly significant decrease by about 10% from our peak of buyer interest back in February. And that's across the country. However, what we're seeing in Queensland is we've actually seen a spike in buyer interest. So as these Southern states have gone into lockdown, uh, realestate.com has actually in, in seen an increase in buyer inquiry and online viewings of Queensland properties. And that's up about 5.5% since our February peak of buyer interest. So there is a lot of buyer interest. But what we're seeing now, as Sydney property owners decide not to sell, perhaps Melbourne property owners hold off as well, we will see a flood of properties come to the market after the lockdowns discontinue in Sydney. I know Melbourne's out of it, so we'll probably see a few more properties being listed down there and even in Adelaide. Um, but that flood of properties will come to the market. And I think about springtime, usually a busy market in our southern states as well. We'll see more and more properties coming to the market and that'll bring more and more buyers uh, towards our area here on the Sunshine Coast. So what does that mean for sellers? Well, it puts you in a little bit of a conundrum because on one hand, you could choose to sell now um, buy demand is absolutely through the roof on the Sunshine Coast. We can see that through the realestate.com figures um, and you're going to have less competition. So there's going to be less properties out there that your property's in competition with. And that's good for a seller to be in. But on the other hand, you may have less buyers from interstate, from Sydney, uh, coming up here right now to purchase properties because they're waiting uh, until they can sell their property. So a little bit of a tricky one, but look, give us a call. If you have any questions, happy to walk you through it and find a process or a strategy a plan that actually suits your needs. Um, we've seen some phenomenal sales locally here. A couple of properties have sold recently in the, uh, the Palmwoods area for around $3 million. It's a huge amount of money um, to put into the property market. But that's what we're seeing, that luxury and property prices are definitely going sky high. Uh, and that's a, a unbelievable results being reported around the Sunshine Coast at the moment. Guys, if there's absolutely anything we can help you with, give me a call. Uh, my number's below, happy to chat. Talk soon.